Welcome back guys to my Warwick beginner guide. We're playing Warwick once again in Gold Fort Elo this game. And I wanted to return to making more videos in this series. I only made a couple so far, but this is something that I know that some people liked. So uh, yeah, the entire goal of this series is to try to, I want to try to smurf to try and teach you guys how to play League at a very basic level. Um, teach you guys some pretty simple fundamentals simple concepts that you guys can apply in your own games to be able to consistently win so once again we're going the exact same setup the exact same build the exact same jungle route this game we're starting blue we're going to go to our top side you can either do um raptor camp or you can do red buff it's uh kind of up to you as to which you choose here but I think the, the focus that I really want to talk about this game, assuming that you've kind of gotten your jungle route down and you feel a little bit more comfortable in Warwick, is going to be just map movements and how you actually, you know, move your character. Now, granted, you know, there, there are some people like to play with lock screen while they're in combat, and that is fine. Some people like to play with lock screen, but you got to be able to unlock your screen and actually look at the map at certain points of the game. If you're going to be looking to climb this is especially true you know in the jungle because as you can see right here i'm just kind of sitting here and whacking at camps doing nothing i'm pressing q every once in a while so while i am doing this i can either use f keys to look at my teammates or what i do is i like to click on the map and i like to click on where people are so just kind of do whatever is comfortable but the goal of course is going to be to try to find I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fight him. I'm not gonna fight him. This is a bit of a limit test. We're not. We don't do limit tests. Oh, oh god. I'm gonna stand next to this wall. So if you want to flash this wall, by the way, a little pro tip. You want to stand right next to the wall and then flash on this side. You see, like like this. Same over here. This little curve. Or sorry. Yeah. You want to. You want to. You want to like flash over this curve here. So yeah. The one. The one thing that I, I definitely want to stress in this chapter of the series is is to get used to moving uh your camera around around a little bit more get used to looking at your mini map more actually that's probably where i should start honestly because um you know some of you guys don't play the game a ton uh, definitely not as much as, as as me eventually you are going to get used to all these things but i'd say start off with trying to pay attention to the mini map more while you are in the jungle if you if you're not comfortable with it already so while you are farming camps or walking between camps, click on the, you know, the camp and then just look at your mini-map and see what you can find. Um, eventually, you're going to be able to, you know, adapt and grow. Let's look here. We're actually not going to help, help the Vex. I don't think we can actually help her there. It looks a little bit of our reach. And if we're not entirely sure if we can help, we're just going to keep on farming. I want to stress that. We're going to keep on farming. We're only going for guaranteed plays. There's no reason, there's no reason in gold four or below, or really plat or below, to go for any plays that are coin flip. There's no reason to take any chances. If you're not sure, then then don't go for it. Now, you don't want to just farm in here all, all day long. Of course, there's, there, there's some risk that you have to take. There's a certain level of risk. What I mean is don't take 50-50 chances. Take like 70-30s, something like that, you know? Uh, unless your team is really, really far behind and you have to, you know, make a team fight happen. Um, you might be willing to do that, but... You can see right here, Asterius is a bit overextended. We have Pantheon here, who is willing to gank. And... I don't know if that's going to work. And I ended this. We ended this. Alright, it happened. Sometimes you fall behind, sometimes you go for a play. Now Pantheon should have ran in, but I probably should have pinged him in, so I'm gonna take the blame there. Because I shouldn't really be expecting <laughs> expecting players in gold to, you know, always be paying attention. Yep, so we're back to our blue buff. And now that we are are you know hitting the camp, we're gonna go ahead and kite it out between auto attacks. Q auto it, get it below half health, and we're just gonna look mid. And you don't actually have to find any like if you're not used to, you know, you're moving your map around much. If you're not used to using F keys or moving your map map around manually. Uh, you don't actually have to look for anything yet. Just just get used to moving it, and then pressing space bar or whatever button you use to center your champion back. Go 
ahead and just place a ward right here. Just get used to it. So we're moving between camps. Let's just look bot lane. I don't actually have to look for anything yet. Just just get used to looking. Uh, eventually you can get, get used to actually paying attention to what you're looking for. Like eventually you're going to have a goal with what you're looking for. Um, Starts off with thing, okay, is the enemy, you know, low on health? Are they gankable? Um, but, you know, when you get to really high levels, you're going to be looking at, like, wave states. Is the wave pushing? Uh, stuff like that. You're usually pro you're probably not going to look at that, though, until, like, Master Tier. So, um, or, or, or maybe Diamond, I guess. But thing to really pay attention to, just get used to moving your camera around. I promise you, it's not, like, if you're not used to moving your camera around that much, and it feels kind of overwhelming, um, and it feels a little bit off, I promise you it's something you'll get used to in the matter of like, um, I don't know, I actually don't really know a good time frame, but probably like 20 games, honestly. And, that, and that's like pretty forgiving, like probably less, honestly, depending, it just kind of depends on the person. So right here, I'm farming these Krugs. We're looking to see the dragon fight. And we should also, really, we should be looking top lane because that's where we can actually affect, you know, we can we can affect top lane. So like looking bot lane is is fun, but we can affect top lane right now by looking for finding a gank opportunity. So that's why we want to head up here. And I think we can get a gank opportunity off here, right now. Pantheon's going in. And we'll just go ahead and just right click him to death. I didn't, I didn't even really need to queue, so no need. And then after you. Manage to get a kill in the jungle. A lot of times you're going to want to try to push in the wave if you can. You don't want to like overforce it, but this by pushing in the wave after a kill. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This is my jungle. Middle sticks. But by pushing in the wave after a kill, you know, you, you get the wave to crash sooner, these minions die sooner, and then Darius is not going to be able to get these minions. So yeah, you're technically stealing minions from your laner, but they're still getting, getting some XP. They're still getting some minions. You're getting resources, and you're denying resources faster. So it's a net benefit for the team. And it also gives your laner the opportunity to potentially look for resets, potentially roam. There's multiple different things that you can actually do with it. We're doing a counter jungle right now because we forced Fiddlesticks out, but Darius is top side. So let's just go ahead and walk out because we don't want to die I was thinking about doing rift drill but it's kind of risky let's not do rift drill I do want to talk about you know going for neutral objectives um, maybe in my next video because neutral objectives I think are definitely very very important especially you know in in lower elos lower, low to mid elo uh, dragons as you guys know, are very, very popular to contest. And in a way that makes it harder to go for them. But you get a huge advantage by going for them. I'm just gonna chase him. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Again, pushing the wave, help shove it in. And we got flash here, so we could potentially look to kill this Leah. But again, we're not gonna greed too hard. We're gonna try to life steal right now off these off these minions. Flash, smite. Get out of here. Little six wants some as well. Worth it. Yes, mentally definitely worth it there. Um, let's just go ahead and get Merchants this game. They do have a decent amount of CC. I think you can really go well. I think Merc treads this game or CDR boots. Those are your best best bets. Okay, we are doing our Gromp. We are looking. Moving our map to kind of see what's going down here. Just seeing if we need to join. Looks like, you know, Lucian has it. He does. So we are able to just continue farming. We're CSing pretty well here. And we're just going to keep our rhythm going. 
But like I said with neutral objectives and dragons in particular, the benefit of dragons in like lower mid elo is not even just the dragons itself. Now, uh, there is the fact that games typically last longer in um, in this elo. So that means that you're more likely to get to the soul points. But it's th that's not even like the main advantage of getting dragons. The main advantage of getting dragons is, first of all, the psychological. It, it tilts the enemy team when they're losing dragons. It, it's an unnecessary tilt. It shouldn't tilt, tilt you that hard when you lose a couple of dragons, but people don't understand how valuable dragon dragon is. Or they, they don't understand how, like, it's not the end of the world to give up a dragon. So when they lose one, they start to tilt really hard. And then second of all, um, kind of in a, in a similar similar manner, they're, when teams, when, when players fall behind, like in, in silver gold, a lot of times when players fall behind in dragons, they will look to contest like every single dragon, even when it, when it doesn't make sense. So your, their team is going to be down, their team cannot team fight, they're, they need to farm up and get some items, they're still going to contest every dragon. Um, so you can just force some really hard winning fights for, for free if you get a couple dragons. Now you shouldn't be trying to play for dragons, like hard forcing it every single game. Sometimes your bot lane's like too far behind. Sometimes you just have to give up dragons and you gotta accept it. But you gotta learn to accept it and have an adaptable mindset. All I'm saying is that going for objectives is a good strategy. It's a good strategy and you should definitely try to have that in your arsenal. But it shouldn't be the only thing in your arsenal. It shouldn't be like a case where you're down two dragons and you don't know what to do. Uh, you shouldn't rely on that gameplay. It is a good place to start. It's a pretty simple strategy, but it's not the only strategy to win games. Because at the end of the day, the, the goal of the of League of Legends is to kill the enemy Nexus. And a lot of times you do that by getting more resources than your opponents. Dragon is one resource. But gold is another resource. And you can get that by killing people, farming, you know. There's a, there's a lot of different things. So we're going to go ahead and just take this, uh, do a little counter null right here. Just because of the fact that, uh, we just killed the mid laner. And no one, like, if Fiddlesticks walks up to us, we can obviously kill him. It basically was where it comes down to. We can kill Fiddlesticks. And Darius is kind of too far away to really help. And if Darius does, you know, look to help and we want to get away, we can ult away. Um, or we can even just like, walk this way. Let's go ahead again. We're going towards Sunfire. Now, I want to, want a small disclaimer, actually a big disclaimer. Um, from what I saw, going into the next patch, Sunfire is getting like butchered. Like it's getting nerfed so incredibly hard that it's probably not going to be viable. So if, it, if the nerf ends up being really, really hard, I will definitely make an update video to explain what builds are best, especially for beginners in Warwick, because I don't want to recommend a bad item on Warwick. Because as it stands, this is patch, what, 12.14 right now? 12.13, I think. And Sunfire is a very, very strong item in Warwick, but that might change next patch, so if that's the case, I will update you guys. And if you are watching this video, you know, after 12.14 hits, and uh, I, in my opinions changed. Definitely, like, just definitely, just check and see if my opinions changed in my my videos after this video because I, it might, it might change. Actually, the, the next, the next, the next uh, video in the series will actually probably cover that if that is the case, or or one of the next. I, I might make a couple of these before the patch hits. We'll see. But I'll definitely let you guys know if the items. Need to be changed. Okay, so we see right here. We'll smite. <laughs> we'll smite action. That's fine. Let's go ahead and do a little invade. Put put down a ward, a deep ward, and let's try to play around our team. So enemy mid laner's dead. The enemy you see is mid lane. So we have a number numbers advantage bot lane for certain here. We can maybe look for 
something here. See, so if you look, if you look at the mini map, you see that Phil Six is on this ward up here. So why looking at mini map is important, as well as looking, you know, physically looking, just to see what he's up to. And we could reset um, right now, but getting a bomb cinder isn't like a really a big deal here. I'm gonna go ahead and alt this fill sticks. Gonna flash away. Yeah, nothing too, nothing too crazy. I'm not really doing anything outstanding in these fights. We are just playing work at the most basic level we really can. But we're constantly farming. Farm, farm is so, is so key. Um, it's such a key fundamental to the game that like players at this level don't really understand. A lot of times people really want to force fights all the time, and as a result, they f they fall behind and farm. And farm is just free gold and experience. You're going to just out level and out gold people, I guess, in this elo so much just by just farming pretty consistently. And again, you want to be able to look for fights. You want to look for plays. You want to you want to you actually gank and play with your team, but you only want to take favorable fights and make favorable plays with your team if you can. Again, if you fall really far behind, your team is feeding really hard, which might definitely happens. There is going to be a point where you are going to have to take riskier plays further behind the yard. The riskier plays you got to make at some point, but play around your item power spikes, play around, you know, the windows in between farming camps and keep a consistent jungle path for the most part. Keep a relatively consistent jungle path. It'll be, it'll be easier. You know, you can complicate things every once in a while, you know, especially as you start to learn more about the game and get better at the game but you don't need to overcomplicate things at this elo you don't need to you don't need to have a versatile arsenal in terms of your jungle path your jungle clear speed that's something you'll learn as you as you grow as a player just stay consistent consistency is key and it's something that a lot of players lack way too many players lack I'm level 13 i'm out farming everyone in this game out farming everyone in this game. And as a result, I am very, very strong. I am very, very strong. Again, we're not we're not we're not we're not like smurfing on people, you know? Like I'm a, I'm technically smurfing. But I'm not I'm not like, you know, smurfing. If you know what I mean. I'm not, I'm not like, you know, going crazy. They're not like, oh my god, this guy is playing at just such a high level. He's clearly just better than us. I don't think anyone thinks I'm a smurf here. No one does. I'm just walking at them and right clicking. But it's because I know when to walk at them and right click. This guy even stole blue from me. That makes me mad. But it's fine. Just go ahead and take his gromp. I'm able to take his stuff right here just because, of course, his steam died. So, when you when, when when you kill people on the enemy team, when you get like two or three kills or even more, that's when you want to look to press your lead most of the time. You aren't going to be looking to just recall and spend gold. Um, most most of the time. So sometimes sometimes you'll want to, but generally speaking, you're going to want to... If the enemy team has no more kill threat, you're going to look to either get objectives, maybe get like a Baron with your team or something like that. Or you're going to look to you know push for turrets, counter jungle, maybe just do a little farming in between, whatever. This game, as far as items are concerned, I actually cannot remember. What what did I recommend for you guys in terms of items? I'm going back to my video. Dust Dance. Did I recommend Dust Dance? Alright, Dust Dance it is. I was, I was actually going to go for a... a uh, force of Nature here. That, that's potentially what I would normally go. Actually, we'll just go for a Wits End. Wits End, Death Stance. 
Both work. I want you guys to you know, stay consistent in your build. It doesn't really matter what you build so much. Actually, that's good. I'll, sh I'll show you guys it doesn't even really matter. I think Whitson's better here. Who cares? Doesn't matter. I'm just gonna go over Death Dance. Stay consistent with your build. Pretty good. It's, it's pretty good in every game. That, that's why I recommend it third item, because it's just it's never really bad. It's never a bad item. And you don't have to build the best items. Just build these items. You'll be fine. My team died here. So what do you two do when your team dies? Your team feeds. We're, we're ahead. We're clearly strong on the enemy team. What do we do? Well, there's there's no need to force. We're not, we don't need to make up for our teammates feeding here. We don't need to make up for it. Let's just look for some camps. Okay, so we we only have Gromp up. It's fine. Let's just go take Gromp. Actually, Darius is here. Let's uh, walk away from Darius. Yep, let's, no greed, no greed. He, I think Darius is taking my Gromp, it's fine. Be patient. We have no camps up, who cares? We have a 700 gold bounty on us, we do not want to throw it. Let's just wait for our team, wait for your team, re regroup, let's play for this dragon together. And let's just not overforce anything. I don't want to walk in this bush. I'm concerned here. So I'm going to wait for my team. And actually, we're not going to really play. We're not going to play with this dragon. Oh, they're having a star dragon. Bill six. Let's get this Darius. This guy looks like he can pop off. I'm going to ult him. He doesn't pop off. Oh, nice. Let's go. Come on, Vex. Nice. Use my W. Use my E here. We got, we got Smite. We got this. Use our E here to reduce uh, third damage. I guess that's the one guess mechanic you can actually utilize, but it's not too complicated, so I'll, I'll show it to you guys. Definitely use that if you can. And we can go ahead and go for the dragon. So what I meant by when I said don't play for it, we're not playing for the dragon, is I mean, our focus right there wasn't to get the dragon. Our focus is to win the fight. fight focus the fight first. I don't, I don't really care about losing dragon, I just want to win the fight. We got we got dragon as well, which is awesome, but that was just kind of like, you know, secondary. We're going to give our blue over to the Vex, and we're just going to keep farming. Need about 500 gold here for our death stance. Take that. Go through our Krugs. Actually, I think what we're going to do, so I'm going to ping. I'm going to ping for my teammates. Let them know that I want to get this item here. I'm going to place a ward at the around the Baron here. I'm going to go ahead and clear out some of these minions here. I know Darius is here. Because we have Pantheon. I'm going to lock him down for Pantheon. Nice job. Heck. Oh, we got, we got Baron. We get Baron. We get Baron. This is definitely a free Baron. 5v2. 5v2. And they have a support up as well. So that means they only have one person in their team that can actually like deal any damage. Talia obviously can't stop us. It's just a, it's just a free Baron. Even, you should even Baron even if you kill like two people most of the time. Unless like... Unless, you know, you kill the two useless people. Grab that. Again, we're going to go for wits in this game. And look at our farm. Look at our farm, man. 210. 
I mean, Phil6 is farming really well. I, honestly, like most people here are farming pretty well, so everyone's farming fine, but it's pretty evident how strong we feel as Warwick right now. I've, I'm the highest level in the game. The single highest level in the game. And we're not going to stop. We're going to keep farming right here. We do have Baron, though. We want to group up with our team. We want to group up with our team and we want to push our lead. So we want to group. We're going to ping the group here, but we're going to wait for our team to group up. So we're going to farm until our team's grouped up. Now now that our team is grouped up, we can look to push. And we got to... But we got to play around our minion waves. This Baron's not very useful if there's no minion waves to play around. So I'm going to look to push mid. Oh, our team is fighting. So ignore that. I don't want to ult the Nautilus. I don't know if we can really kill him there. We're not going to greed. We could, we could have gone for the, the Talia there, but there's no need. They don't really have a win condition here. They just lose to us. We don't need like make picks or anything like that. Nice. It's not good. Wait forward. Let's keep pushing away. We lost our Vex, but I think we're good without her. Everyone's pretty strong. Yeah, we have no minion wave here, though. We got Dragon coming up in a minute, so let's ping the Dragon. Play around the objective. And I think we're able to win this yeah, pretty easily. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Lucian. Oh, let's go, Lucian, though. Let's go ahead and reset. Spamping the dragon. Let your teammates know that you're eyeing the dragon. It's a free soul. We want to take it. I mean, I could have stayed with my team. Technically, technically I should stay with my team, but again, we don't want to greed. It's a pretty, it's pretty straightforward, you know. It's more straightforward in solo queue if you're playing around dragons instead of you know, sieging, because when you're sieging, you never know if your teammates are wanting to dive, or you know, how you know, if, if anyone's going to throw like if Lucian tower dives and dies, then we just have to give up the, the soul, so it's, it's a lot simpler to just take the soul and that way if you do, if you, your team does feed the next fight, or you, you do end up losing the next fight, then your team has nothing to take, you've already taken everything you got You're, you're, you're kind of like preventing yourselves from losing anything. You're not playing for maximum gain. You're not, you're not, you know, you're not trying to make the play. You're not trying to make the best play. You're trying to make the play that's least likely to lose your lead. Is basically what it comes down to. It's counter jungle. And again, look at where our team, team is. We got Vex here. Everyone else is in base. So let's not do anything crazy let's just sit here sit here for 20 seconds do nothing wait for our team play together because we win we win every fight if we're together so what so why would i try to like look for a solo kill or why would i even um you know look to farm my next item like i could reset and get my wits in but i don't really need it right now we're just we're so much stronger we're so much stronger ah see where my team is i got lucian here but no one else. So let's just back off. We ended, we ended up baiting out the little six which is nice. It's alts. Heal. And there it is. W. Another easy win in, in, in gold four. And nothing about it's too complicated, guys. That's what I want to stress. So yeah, the, I guess the, the main thing I want to talk about this game, it talks about neutral objectives, but I, I think the main thing is, is map movements, getting used to moving your map. Notice how I move my map. Um, I'm not even moving move my map as fast as I normally do, but it's definitely a good habit to get into. Try to slowly progress with it, and it'll be better for you in the long run. 
if you develop these habits. So let me know what you guys think. Peace out.